All right, well, welcome to part five. I think part five. All right, so we were just working on our header up here. Um, one little note, I found that uh, to get this text up there to be most uh, reliably in the correct place with a little space above and to the left here of this uh, H1 tag in my H1 definition, uh, zeroed out the margin and just put in 15 pixels of padding in the top and 15 pixels from the left and it's pushing that over that seems to be most reliable. I might have to play around with that a little bit more. Okay the next region here is this top nav. Now I'm going to come back to that um, in a bit. Uh, that takes a little more time to format that how we want. I'm going to get the rest of the layout kind of set up and then we can come back and spend a little time getting that getting that top navigation uh, looking exactly how we want it. So the next one uh, to work on here is our left call. So I'm just going to click inside of there, come down and select the left call at the bottom there and I'm going to open up my style panel and click the new style rule button there and it names it again as being specific the left call that's inside the wrapper make sure it's getting written down on my external style sheet and say OK. Now here I want to come in and I have a width for my left column I want this left column to be um, 140 pixels in width and I can apply that to get an idea of how big it is and I do want about 15 pixels of padding around that content so if I add those up that width ends up being um, 170 I think that's about right I'll just leave it there for now now I do want this aligned uh, to the left so I'm just going to do float left on it and when I apply that you can see it pulls it out of the, sort of the linear order and my right column div actually went underneath it. I don't know if you can see out there. It went underneath there because I pulled my left column out of a line. It's not really creating any space for itself. But this is the way we're going to get these two columns to be side by side is we're going to kind of pull them out of their normal uh, linear order. All right, so well, let me put a, I'm going to put a background color in here just so we can uh, see this a little bit easier and I'll uh, come and remove this later but for now I just want a little background color in um, so that it shows up. Okay now let's get this right column worked on so I'm going to click inside this placeholder text for the right column select its little HTML tag at the bottom and when I do that you can kind of see that it is um, coming up behind that right column. Okay so we need to write a style for this Okay, that all looks good. Um, now, uh, so for my width here, I have a total width of 800 pixels. I just used up 170 pixels of it with my right, uh, with that left column. So the width of this one, um, I'm going to do a little bit of math. So I've got 800 minus 170, so that would be 630 pixels. Um, left over and if I have the same amount of padding there, 15 on each side, that means I'm going to have 600 pixels um, wide and under padding here, I'm, oops, same for all padding, I put 15 in there and the margin, now if I just do a, apply now you can see my uh, right column div is still down there underneath um, the left column. I need it to move over. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is just tell it to have a margin. So I want it to have a margin on the left side of exactly the width of that left column, which was 170. And click apply, and I should see it move over. Okay, so now if we look here, oh, you know what? I'm going to just go in there quick and put in some, some background color so we can see that one showing up um, as we're working here. Okay, so there's my two columns, my left column and my right column. And they're side by side. And as I put more content in here, um, you can see this, con this one will grow as more content goes in. All right, so I've got my two, two columns side by side um, without, with just fairly simple um, definitions here. I'm going to switch over to the style sheet and just kind of let you see um, what we've written here. 
Okay, so here's the instructions for the left column. I just gave it a width and some padding and then told it to flow to the left. The right column one, I gave it some uh, padding and a width and then gave it a margin, but a margin just on the left which pushed the whole region over so that these two divs can be side by side. Okay, so I've done a float to the left. All right, let's look back at the design. Um, so that's that, that will be okay right now. A problem we'll solve a little later is that these two columns, the actual DIVs, aren't the same height. The only way to uh, get this left-hand column here to be the same height as the right-hand one is to kind of just re put content in there. Um, but notice, as soon as I put a little bit more content in there, because this uh, left column DIV is floated, it's out of order, and so when it goes down and hits this uh, footer, it's actually on top of the footer. It doesn't push it down. It just goes on top of it because you can think of it as oh, that it's almost floating. Um, so in the next part of this, we will um, work on the footer.